this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 4 from experience 12. You wish to test the following claim, h sub alpha, the alternative hypothesis, at a significance level of alpha equal to 0 0.002. The alternative hypothesis is that the population mean is greater than 85.3. The null is that it is equal to 85.3. You believe the population is normally distributed, but you do not know the standard deviation. You obtain a sample of size n equal to 6 with a mean 91.2 and a standard deviation of 16.1. We'll find the p-value using technology. Using the spreadsheet given in the resources menu, select the tab for the t-test. We'll be using the t-distribution since we do not know the population standard deviation. Put the hypothesized mean value in the hypotheses, and this corresponds to a right-tailed test, and alpha is 0 0.002. Put in a sample mean, it's 91.2. Sample size is 6. Sample standard deviation is 16.1. We want the p-value that corresponds to the right-tailed value, which is 0 0.2053. To confirm with the TI graphing calculator, we hit stat, tests, t-test, make sure you're on stats, and put in the 85.3, and then the mean is 91.2, standard deviation is 16.1, and the sample size is 6. Make sure to select the right alternative hypothesis corresponding to the right-tailed test, and hit calculate and we get the same p-value rounded to four decimal places. Comparing with alpha, we see that the p-value is greater than alpha. When the p-value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. When we fail to reject the null, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejecting the null, or in this case, supporting the claim. Remember that rejecting the null always supports the alternative, so when the claim is the alternative, rejecting the null supports the claim. Thus, failing to reject the null fails to support the claim. We usually say there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the population mean is greater than 85.3.